it, it's it's clearly reaching a point where the United States is is it's been alarmed for some time, but the idea that the nuclear missiles could now hit the U.S. Is, has has reached a kind of crescendo pressure on North Korea. I think the Chinese are trying to humor humor Trump to some extent because he's made it number one issue. I'm right. not sure they actually have. Then that they are convinced that it's a great idea to totally put the squeeze on North Korea because I think they worry that if the regime actually collapsed, uh, that is what might provoke. Well, the North and that's Korea my Steve's question. Weapons. We don't have much time left, yeah. but it's like the question is: Wouldn't they? I would expect they step in, they take control. That they don't they don't cede control by letting him get things letting things get out of control. That's what I would think. I would expect. You get, what, could they actually take control? That's the, I mean they deny it, and I think. Of course, it's in some ways convenient for them to say, oh, sorry, guys, there's yeah. not much we can do about that. But I think there's an element of truth in it as well. I mean, North Korea is a very poor country, but it is armed to the teeth. It has yes. nuclear weapons, a vast army, and it would fight. Uh, you know, there, there is oh, um, no. uh, a long history of deep Korean and now North Korean nationalism. So the Chinese can put pressure on them, but whether they can deliver North Korea or deliver an end of the nuclear weapons program, I'm not so sure. That's fascinating. I got to cut it short. The book is Easternization, Asia's Rise and America's Decline from Obama to Trump and Beyond. Thanks, Gideon. Thank you.